What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to be unboxing the YOLO Park AMK Pro Series Optimus Prime. So this is the second in the series of Pro figures. We got Megatron which we just looked at and now we're going to look at the Optimus. We'll of course bring in Megatron a little bit later. But today we're going to be unboxing this and we're going to be building it. Now thanks to Dr. Diecast for sending this for review. I wasn't getting planning to pick this up myself, but he uh, sent these for review, so I appreciate it. Here's that nice artwork on the front. It says 20 centimeter model. It's got die cast in it. On this side, you got a nice Transformers logo. On the back, kind of basically how it goes together. And he comes with a stand just like Megatron. And then he's got his Iron Camp Blaster, his axe, and a Megatron gun. It does come as a slip cover, so you slide this up. And underneath you get nice lenticular or you know reflective Optimus here with transformers. It's a really cool box. Megatron box was cool too. This side continues. On the back it says Transformers 40 years. Very cool. Let's get it open. Alright, so here's how it comes. We get what I'm guessing is, oh, it says after sales team, Facebook, Instagram, so just QR codes to take you to their different social medias. You got the instructions, which I don't think we'll even need because it looks really easy to build. But it does have light up head, and I don't have the right batteries. I'm going to have to steal it from Megatron. You got the matrix. I guess the gun is a magnet. And I forgot to mention when I reviewed Megatron that his gun is also a magnet, the gun on his back. But I just used a regular magnet. And on the back here, at the flight, the stand, and it talks about articulation. Pretty simple instructions. You don't really need them, to be honest. You do get two trays worth of stuff. So, bottom tray, you got some of his weapons. Oh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. The packaging is not great. I have to admit, I have to say, like, a lot of it is kind of comes damaged, so I've noticed that. I noticed that with Megatron 2, the package was kind of bent up and damaged, and I don't know if that's just because it's cheap or what. But let's take a look at all the accessories. We got the Megatron gun. It doesn't actually have a Decepticon symbol on it, but it's a very nice looking gun. You have the. Ion Cannon for Optimus. It does have some paint on it. It is painted, so it looks nice. And this has the magnet in it somewhere. We have his axe. Can't have an Optimus without an axe. <laughs> and we've got some parts for his legs. I'm going to leave those in there. Oh, looks like this all came loose. So this is the stock for the gun, for the Megatron gun. I don't know, some of this stuff feels very, should be careful with it, but. We've got the Autobot symbol painted in red, just like we had for Megatron. Except for the stand, flight stand. Here's the arm for the flight stand. And the armature. And then we've got the actual stand itself. I think this is just unpainted plastic, but it does look nice. And then we got the adapter for the stand. And we got a couple of pieces here for his legs. I'm going to take those out and set those aside. And that's it for this tray. And now let's see what we got here. Here's how he comes. It looks fairly straightforward to build. So. I think what I'm going to do is build it right from here. I'll just take it out of this box. And we'll do it this way. So I'll probably do it on camera so you can see it. But let's get him built.
All right, and there's Optimus all built. And first impressions, first of all, it was relatively simple to put it together. I didn't actually even use the instructions. Uh, hopefully I didn't get anything wrong, but pretty easy. And my first impressions, it's kind of, I don't know. There's something about these figures. And I said the same thing about Megatron. I mean, it looks really cool. It's got lots of nice paint detail, you know, that weathering look wash over it. I mean, it's got tons and tons of paint. Uh, but there's just something about it that I just, it doesn't, it doesn't appeal to me. I don't know what it is. But anyway, we'll get this guy checked out. So stay tuned for the review. I'll do that separately and we'll see you then.